Hello and welcome again to Over the Hill Outdoors. This is video of an ice rescue training exercise that I did with some Boy Scouts on a frozen lake in northern Utah. Ice on the lake is 8 to 10 inches thick. The open areas are due to a bubbling underwater spring that keeps the ice from forming directly above it. The water here is about 20 feet deep. For this training, I was wearing a uh, scuba diving wetsuit under my snowmobile suit to minimize the shock of falling in that ice cold water. I was also wearing a life jacket, which was tethered by a long safety rope. There were other adults, uh, first aid and first responder trained adults, on scene in case of any unexpected problems. Although this was a well planned practice exercise, it was still dangerous, and I don't recommend anyone else try it. I have fallen unexpectedly through the ice three times in my life while either hunting or fishing in the winter. Fortunately, in each one of those cases, I was prepared enough that I was able to get out either by myself or with the help of my partners. The first scenario is a man who has fallen through the ice and needs help. In this case, the boys are not to try to rescue me by themselves, but instead they are to call for others to help and then give me instructions that might help me get out on my own. And if I can't get out by myself, then they are to keep encouraging me and talking to me until help does arrive. And under no circumstances are they to get near the open water. In this scenario, I was to have a pair of ice picks so I could eventually pull myself out of the water and onto the ice. Why do you have this much faith in me? I'm surprised it hasn't cracked yet. What? He's walking on water! <laughs> <laughs> I've only heard of this once. Oh! oh. Okay. 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 You just okay, now tell him, tell him what's going on. Okay. What I want you to do is remain calm. Ah. And if you can, go to where you fell. Like, the, like go, go, go to it. Can you? I can't find my ice pick. It got off center. Are you serious? All right. So now what? Okay. I want you to. I want you to start kicking with, with your feet. Kick. Okay, this is too slick. Can I use this? Yes. I just pick it up. Okay, you're doing great. You're doing great. I'm going to roll. Okay, I want you to roll. Roll up. Roll where you... Okay, roll. You know how to roll. Are you good? Good. Made it. In the second scenario, the man is not able to get out by himself, but the rescuers have a rope that they can throw to him. Once again, the boys are not to get near the open water. The, uh, the orange cone represents the edge of solid ice. We're good. Are you okay? I want you to keep calm. Keep. Go to the nearest ledge. Hopefully I can throw this to you. Okay. Just a minute. I get my breathing under control. Okay. You'll remember that. You okay. You get what am I supposed to do? If you start giving them instructions before they're done... Okay, I want you to start kicking. If you can. While you're kicking, if you have any ice picks with you, I want you to use them. He doesn't. You don't have any. I'm going to tell you this rope. 
And I want you to secure it on you. On. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. I think I can do it. Okay. No. You got it. Got it. Make sure you get okay, I want you to put that over you, All so it's like way. under your armpit. Okay, good. Alright. Okay. Now you don't want to do all the work yourself, so what are you telling me? I want you to start kicking. Okay. Please. Why? Just Please. give me out. Huh? Pull me out. <laughs> okay. Kick, 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 Roll, roll, roll. Yeah, that is. Okay. Good. Oh. All right. Good. A couple of things I've learned from my experiences in ice water. Number one, no matter how many times you've done it, falling through the ice is a huge physical and emotional shock. The first thing to do is to get to the nearest edge and hang on. And then try to get control of your breathing and calm yourself down as much as possible. You can survive in ice water much longer than you think. Second is uh, when you fall in, you splash water all around you. And that makes the ice so slick that you can't get any kind of a grip or traction with your hands or your arms to pull yourself out. So ice picks are absolutely essential for self-rescue. But even with them secured by a cord around the back of my neck, I had trouble finding them once I was in the water. The long cord got wrapped around my body, and I was not able to find them for a while, and then I only found one of them uh, in all that shock and confusion. So my suggestion is to keep the cord slung around the back of your neck, but, but place the picks themselves in an outside pocket where they are secure but easily accessible once you're in the water. And number three, if you fall in wearing a face mask, it will get soaked instantly, and it makes breathing very difficult. Even with your head above water, you'll have the sensation of suffocating or drowning, and that only increases your level of panic. So keep your hat on, but clear the face as soon as possible. No matter how cautious, no matter how prepared you are, if you spend enough time on frozen bodies of water, you are likely to experience a situation in which you or someone else needs rescuing. Hopefully, this video has reminded you of some of the things that you should do to keep it from being a tragedy. Have fun on the ice, but be safe and always go prepared for the unexpected.